Hi, my name is Chantal Song Memory. I'm 16 years old and attend South Brunswick High School in South Brunswick, New Jersey, and I am the author and illustrator of the children's book series entitled The Honey Bunch Kids. I started writing The Honey Bunch Kids when I was 10 years old, and at that age I had developed a strong interest in writing as well as cartooning. Um, and when I was 10, I created some cartoon characters of my own, and the characters were one girl and two boys, and the girl's name was Dizzy, and her two friends were named Cheeks and Stuart. And when I drew these characters, I, I liked them, and I decided that I would keep drawing them over and over again until I could draw them consistently, and they would look the same. And then the next year, when I was 11 years old, my mother sent me to a writing camp at Middlesex County College, which was also held in New Jersey, and at the camp you could sit at the computer and you could just write your own book, basically. And at first I didn't know what to write about, but then I remembered that I had these characters that I had created a year ago. So I decided to write a story about them, and I named the story The Honey Bunch Kids. And at the end of the camp, you get like a hard copy of your work mailed back to your house, so it's kind of like you have your own book. And when my mom and I were flipping through it, we thought it was really funny, and she decided that it would be a good idea to self-publish The Honey Bunch Kids, and that's how the first book in the series, which is called The Honey Bunch Kids, that's how it came to be. Um, the feedback that I got from the first book in the series, The Honey Bunch Kids, I got tremendously positive feedback, especially from boys, which really surprised me because at the time I didn't even know if boys would like it. But since I've written the Honey Bunch Kids book series, boys have definitely been my biggest fans. The Honey Bunch Kids is for boys and girls ages 7 to 14, and boys just love it because they can identify with these characters. In the first book, there are two boys and one girl, so the boys, it's kind of a boy-driven series. So boys love it, girls love it, and that feedback has pushed me to continue the series, and since the first book, I have self-published two more books, which completes the series. The second book is called The Honey Bunch Kids Schools in Session, Book 1, and the third book is called Schools in Session, Book 2. So the second, the second and third book focus more on the Honey Bunch Kids interacting in school. One of the reasons why I wrote The Honey Bunch Kids is because literacy is something that I take very seriously and I believe that it is very important in becoming a successful person in the future. So after I wrote the first book in the series, I began a literacy campaign where I go to different schools and libraries and churches throughout the state of New Jersey and sometimes in other states, and I talk to kids about the importance of literacy and how literacy can help them become successful students in school. The Honey Bunch Kids is basically a very hilarious, entertaining, but also educational book series that focuses on these 11-year-old 6th graders. And they all meet up on the first day of the 6th grade, but the problem is that these kids are all different from each other, and they have trouble getting along with each other and becoming friends. And to make things even more complicated, they have a very strict teacher, and her name is Miss Hodgebottom. And Miss Hodgebottom comes off as being a very scary and intimidating teacher, but the thing is, she just wants her students to get along. And she really does not like it when her students don't get along. So in order to avoid her wrath, the Honey Bunch kids have to learn how to deal with each other and get along, which allows them to become the best of friends in the end. Along with the theme of friendship, I also incorporate black history into each of my books so that along with laughing at the story, the kids get even more educational value. In the first book, I talk about Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. In the second book, I focus on African American women in history and in the present. I talk about Miss Michelle Obama and Shirley Chisholm. And finally, in the third book, I talk about President Barack Obama. So, along with the humor and the funny characters and the themes about friendship, I also tie in Black History Month so that kids can really get a lot of learning out of reading The Honey Bunch Kids. Since the first book was self-published in 2010, I have expanded my characters, so now The Honey Bunch Kids has gone from three characters to a total of seven. And a little bit about these characters. Dizzy, she is the main character of the series. She is 11 years old, and she is the leader of the group. And she wants the best for her friends in the end, and she is the one who brings them all together and allows them to become friends in the first place. Then there's Cheeks, who is 
a really funny guy. He just wants to fit in and belong so bad because he has a hard time making friends. And he's just a really funny character with a lot of funny lines because he just wants to belong so bad. And then there's Stuart, who is very short for his age, and he thinks he's the coolest guy in the world. And he's got very high self-esteem, and he hates to be outdone by his peers because he just wants to be the best at everything. The other four characters I've created, I've created two boys and two more girls. Now the boys, there's Bubblegum Boy. Now Bubblegum Boy is the cool character of the group. He thinks he's cool and he's actually cool, as opposed to Stuart, who thinks he's cool and he's just average. Bubblegum Boy is like the entrepreneur of the group. He's nicknamed Bubblegum Boy because he's always selling bubblegum from the inside of his jacket during lunch and recess in the series. And then another boy I created, his name is Ricky. And he, I'm so glad I added him to the series. He is just a hilarious ca character. He's got a pet rat named Grotesque who he admires dearly. And he just, if you give him a second, he'll just talk about his rat all day long. He's very funny. And then the other two girls I created, a girl named Corinne. She's the fireball of the group. And she's just a very funny character as well. You never know what Corinne will say or do next, which is why she's such a fireball. And then... Last but not least is Sharon. Sharon is Corinne's best friend, and she really wants the best for all of her friends in the Honey Bunch because she's the real sweetheart of the group. And she sides with Corinne on mostly everything. So those are the characters in the Honey Bunch Kids. In the future, I plan on going to college and studying business, specifically majoring in marketing. And... My overall goal with the Honey Bunch Kids is to develop it into a brand. I've completed a screenplay and two episodes made for television, which feature all seven of the Honey Bunch Kids characters. And hopefully in the future, there will be an animated series based off the Honey Bunch Kids. And when I get older and I have my marketing degree, I'll be able to use it towards developing the Honey Bunch Kids into a brand.